Hey, Daniel, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. Victoria. Good, good. Hey, it's good to see you. Hi, welcome. Thank you. I came from America to ask you 73 questions in your new store. Thank you. What's the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning? I check on my kids. What's the daily ritual? I'm up at 6 a.m. working out. Do you have any pets? That'll be Coco Chanel, the bulldog who lives in L.A. Do you have any pet names for your kids? I do, but if I tell you, they'll be mortified. What's one rule your kids consistently ignore? Don't play football in the house. What's the greatest thing you've learned from your kids? How to play football in the house and how to love unconditionally. You pick up any slang from them? I have no idea, dude. All right, let's check out this store. What is your favorite color? Sunset orange. What's your favorite flavor? Salt. What's your favorite spice? Posh. What's your secret talent? I used to be able to juggle. What's a movie that made you cry the hardest? 12 Years a Slave. Movie that made you laugh the hardest? We're the Millers. Heels or flats? Both. Diamonds or pearls? Both. We love Prince. Harry or William? Oh, you can't make me choose. Your store is lovely. Thank you. What's your favorite item for sale? I really like this bright pink fluffy dress over here. What's the best fashion secret you've ever learned? Less is more. If you ran the world, what's one law you would enact? If? Do you mean when? When I run the world, I'm going to make it the law that everybody has to do a little something philanthropic. If you had to wear one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? Knickers. How do you get dressed in the morning? Socks, knickers, vest, dress. What do you wear when you need to relax? My long van pajamas. Besides cell phone and a purse, what are three things you always have in your bag? Birado, hand cream, number 23 makeup forever, lip liner, and my credit card. Victoria, would you mind putting on that other pair of sunglasses? I think they'll make a perfect gift for someone. What's one question you like to be asked more often? Would you like an early night? What's one question you hate being asked? Why don't you smile? Good question, why don't you smile? I'm smiling on the inside. I feel that I have a responsibility to the fashion community. Those last sunglasses are great. I think I'll take Thank them. Thank you. Let me wrap them up. Don't thank forget you. Alina's in the fitting room oh, upstairs. If thank you, you so out. much. Thank you. What's your favorite vacation spot? Napa Valley. What's a country you like to visit? I'd love to go to Kenya. If you bring one thing from the States to England, what would it be? A fanny pack. What's one piece of clothing in your wardrobe that David hates? He loves everything in my wardrobe. What's one piece of clothing in David's wardrobe that you hate? I don't really like that full-on Gucci look that he, uh, that he pushed a few years ago. If you could take back one look you ever wore, what would it be? The full Gucci look in leather that I wore a few years ago. This must be Alina. You look beautiful. Thank mm. you. If you could teach any subject at school, what would it be? Singing. I'm going to get you another dress. Thank you. Victoria, what's your favorite food? Japanese. Favorite drink? Hot sake. If you could have a date with someone, living or dead, who would it be? My husband. What is one thing in this world that we need to get rid of? AIDS. Do you believe in free will or destiny? I believe that free will leads you to your destiny. What's one thing you cannot live without? My Velcro rollers. What is the definition of misery? Kathy Bates. Besides LA, what city do you visit the most? Paris. What is your idea of a perfect date? A night in with my husband. Do you believe in love at first sight? Absolutely. At first sight, what made you fall in love with David? Duh. At what age were you the happiest? I'm really happy right now. Great. Hi, hey. Victoria. Hey. A man from America would like to ask you a question. OK. Hey, Victoria, I'm finally ready to propose to my girlfriend. I just need to know, should I use my grandma's old wedding ring or should I get a brand new diamond ring? Now, that is a tough question. What's it going to be? I'd get a new one. Don't give her that rope heel thing. <laughs> What's your spirit animal? A swan. What's your favorite type of animal print? Leopard. If your life were a movie, what would the title be? The Hunger Games. It's taken. Really? If you could have any superpower in the world, what would it be? I would be able to work out and sleep at the same time. What's one song that always makes you dance? Marvin Gaye, Gotta Give It Up. What are three words to describe London? Inspiring, energetic, multicultural. What's the one thing everyone should do when in London? Come to London and visit my store. What do you like most about Americans? The positive energy. Besides LA, where would you live? New York. How would your kids answer that? New York. If you could bring back one look from your 20s, what would it be? None. Have you seen those Spice Girls films? I was in middle school at the time. Of course I did. OK. Victoria, what's the one word you've used too much? Gray area. And I know that's two words. <laughs> what's one vice you wish you would give up? I don't have a vice. If you could be a pro at any sport, what would it be? Tennis. If you could star in one movie, what would it be? I starred in Spice World the movie and I am still waiting for my Outstanding Achievement Award. Who would you want to write your biography? Me. What would the name be of your autobiography? It's a work in progress. What phrase would define how you live your life? 
positive energy and creative visualization. What's your biggest goal for 2015? To really learn more and figure out what I can do to really help and make a difference. Where do you go when you need to be alone? I can't go anywhere on my own. My kids follow me everywhere. What's one thing about you people would be surprised to know? Comedy gold. If you could choose anyone in the world to live next door to you, who would it be? Mr. Valentino lives next door to me and it doesn't get much better than that. If you could do a duet with one person, who would it be? I've duetted with Sir Elton John and it doesn't get much better than that. If you can give yourself advice at age 13, what would it be? Your skin's gonna clear up and it's all gonna be fine. If you could do something else with your life, what would it be? I wouldn't do anything else with my life. Victoria, last question. Do you take American Express? It's on the house. You are too kind. That is so nice of you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Victoria. Safe journey.